What is up guys, Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another quick little unboxing, unpackaging video, whatever you want to call it. Guys, I am so excited about what is inside this package. I can't wait to open it up. I have been just waiting to record the video so I could share it with all of you. But guys, there is something so epic inside here. I can't even get into it, but it is, it's something from Lynch Northwest and guys, I I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into it. The best gear is the gear you have on. You. And welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, hey, thanks for stopping by to check it out. I really appreciate it. I hope you like the video. If you're a returning video, guys, you know that I am making this content for you. I love opening this stuff up together and uh, just kind of sharing in the excitement of opening up. And there is plenty of excitement, guys. I am so excited to open up what is in this package right now. I can't even tell you. I, I do want to give a little bit of backstory on this. And uh, I'll, I'll put chapters down below so that you can skip ahead to the unboxing if you just want to skip ahead and see this incredible piece of titanium that is meticulously handcrafted by hand here in the U.S. Family made. Guys, I can't, I can't say enough about it. It's a very inspiring story to me but anyway let me get into uh the little bit of the backstory here i had uh, just sort of commented on a post a while back that lynch northwest had done about some blackout pm2s that they had i really had been uh, thinking about getting one and i messaged him about how i thought they were just so awesome looking and uh just sort of started a dialogue with him and i, I had asked him you know if you if you ever had anything coming up, you know, I, I don't know if you send things out for review, if you do anything like that, but I would love to take a look at something. And, uh, you know, we just talked back and forth a little bit and I begged and groveled and I think finally he just uh, broke down. And I want to give a big shout out to Thomas over at Lynch Northwest and uh, also to Casey, the man over there. Um, but yeah, so they he did respond back to me and he said, hey man, we've got something new coming out and wondered if you would like to take a look at it. I was like, absolutely, send it to me. So this is the part you've been waiting for, uh, guys. And if you don't know, and my apologies there, guys. I, I'm i just gonna be 100% honest with you. I completely shot this whole video and I lost every bit of it. I did the unboxing, I did the unpackaging, I did went through everything about Went every through everything about it. I showed it off. I literally recorded a whole video, and I lost it. So I, I just want you guys to understand that I'm I'm always going to be transparent and honest with you. But that video, I just felt like it did not represent the channel. It didn't represent. It certainly didn't represent Lynch Northwest in the best possible way. So I just had to cut most of the video out. I'm really sorry about that. I, I'm going to try to recreate it as best I can for you guys. And I really am still super excited about this thing because it's it's super cool. And so in the, what I was saying before in the other video, and this is kind of throwing me off now because I'm trying to remember what where I was at in the other video. Um, so if you guys aren't familiar with Lynch Northwest, they are a company out of the Pacific Northwest, out of Washington. And they started out, Casey Lynch, the guy who started the company, he started out wanting to have a specific titanium clip for uh, a paramilitary two knife. And he couldn't find one that he really wanted. He ended up designing one for himself. And he shopped it out to 60 different places, I think they said. And out of all those 60 places, only one came back, said they would build it. They built him a hundred copies of it, I believe, and he said he posted them up on Blade Forums, and they sold out like almost immediately. So, yeah, they that's really freaking cool to just design something and it sells out like that. But uh, he said that he took his savings and he really just believed in, I guess, the what he was doing and the product that he was going to try to make, and he moved into a said they moved into a small three hundred square foot building. No. Uh, no running water, you know, like 
electricity is barely working, no AC. They had wooden floors with holes so big in them that you could fall through them. I mean, you know, but just that's just a passion and a love. And he said that at that point he was so excited that he had a shop. Well, now, you know, fast forward to now and they're in a 3,000 square foot state of the art shop with all the CNC equipment. You know, they have the, the nice polished concrete floors in there, obviously running water and electricity. And, you know, so they've really, really grown as a company. They have sold over 200,000 of their titanium clips. Again, that's one of the things that they are most well known for is the titanium clips. Uh, they did move and branch out from there into some pry bars and scales for uh, knives. Guys, go over to lynchnorthwest.com. They have a ton of stuff. It, you know, I, it's way too much for me to try to list in this video. But I am going to go ahead and we're going to use our little unboxing buddy, the Demco Armager 2. We're going to use that to uh, get into the package. Guys, like I said, this is I, I'm just having to simulate this again because I completely destroyed the backside of this package. And I'll show it to you here in a second, just so you see. I'm not, uh, I'm not just making this up. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to get into it better than I did the last time, because the last time I struggled, guys, it wasn't good. Yeah, you can see I had I, where I cut into it there. It, so, like I said, I'm not trying to lie to you. I'm not trying to fake or cheat anything, but I, I just want you to get the full experience, you know, of getting into it and getting to see what's in the packaging and stuff. So you can decide if you want to get, you know, something uh, like this of your own. And uh, we'll go ahead and put the Armature 2 up. Guys, If, like I said, if you don't have one of these, you really should get one. They're $19, super slicey, great neck knife, perfect little unboxing thing. Just keep it here always on the desk with me. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this. I know I've stalled for a long time here, and I, I just really wanted to give uh, some of the, a little bit of the history of the company. It is a family-owned company. Everything is made by hand here in the United States. He employs several of his family members there. Again, big shout out to Thomas over at Lynch and Casey the man over there at Lynch Northwest. I appreciate you guys so much for sending this out. I, I, I'm still excited again. I've already opened it once, and I'm I'm still excited to get into it, guys. This is how cool it is. Uh, the packaging, okay, so you can see the plastic is already open. I feel like this is just not, it's not as good. It's not quite as good as, as actually, you know, getting to show it to you for the first time, and I am so sorry. I, I feel like I owe you guys, yeah, I owe you one after this one, okay? Let's just say I owe you one really really super nice yeah the packaging and everything that it comes with is so cool it comes with a, a date that it was built what it is the sand wash this one is the sand wash guys they do have these in a ton a ton of different color options they have a sand wash the stone wash is sold out I would say if you're interested in this, this is the best case scenario XL, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that. This is the feather light version. Um, you can see that it has the feather and the echo there, CNC engraved on it. And these are super cool. Yeah, six inches long, a little over, I think they're right at an inch wide. And I think they said that they weigh 1.6 ounces, which is, is just incredible. Like I said, these are made by hand. Each one is finished by hand. It's cut from a piece of titanium. And I the name of the titanium they use is escaping me right now. I'll try to remember to put a, a, a text here somewhere on the screen and show what it was. Because I don't want to say the wrong one. I'm trying to think of the name of it. But um, it does have a titanium pocket clip, which is really nice. And you can see this one... If you look there, you can already see that it started to patina just from me handling it uh, doing the unboxing the first time I recorded the video. So it's got a beautiful finish to it. Really, really nice, nice pry bar. These are guaranteed for life. They are meant to be used. They're meant for hard use. So you, this is not something that you can be afraid to carry in your pocket at the work site. It's meant to be used. It's got a nice lanyard hole. And in the box, there is a lanyard for it. And again, that's my fault, guys. I, I actually forgot to put it back in the box before I closed everything back up. And, and then once I closed it up, it was too late. So, But again, 
I'm always going to be honest with you. If I screw something up, I'm going to tell you that I screwed it up because I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and uh, I'm not going to try to pretend to be. Um, but guys, this is a beautiful piece of titanium hardware made in the U.S., family owned, family made. Go to Lynch Northwest right now and get you a best case scenario. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, we could do a little bit of uh, size comparisons here, but I'm going to be 100% honest here. I don't have a whole lot of pry bars. This this actually is going to be my first really like nice pry bar. So, um, yeah, I've got a couple here I can compare it to, and uh, let's get into those. Like I said, guys, I don't have a whole lot of pry bars to uh, compare this one to. So this is really not even going to be a, uh, got a little bit of pocket lint on it there. Not going to be a really a fair comparison. I do have a uh, Oticle P2 Mini from Olight. It's a titanium bar. It has the really, really cool anodized colors on it. This one I believe will fit a small hex driver or a hex bit if you to be able to use as a driver. Of course, it does have the pry at the end with a nail puller slot and a bottle opener. Yeah. Some nice jimping on the side of it as well. But you can see it's way smaller. Of course, this is the P2 Mini. So uh, the other one that I have that I really like, and I keep this one on my keychain all the time, it's uh, Flatanium's Fly Bar. These are ones that, uh, you know, you just need to get one of these and throw it on your keychain. It's not really a proper full-sized, you know, uh, pry bar. This one's one by SOG, and I'll try to look for the name of this, but I think this came in like one of those kits. It was real cheap, and uh, I just thought, you know, why not? But it does have a bottle opener. It's got some good jimping back here. Uh, looks like a seatbelt cutter there. This, I think, is more aimed at like an escape tool type of thing. So this, I usually actually keep this in my truck bag. Uh, I have a little, I have a little bag that's like a small pouch. It's made to fit in the uh, cup holder of a car or truck. So I've got that one. I think this one's the Gerber Shard. This one's really small, but it's made it's made out of steel, so it's a little bit heavier feeling. It does have a pretty good pry bar on it. It's got a bottle opener, uh, Phillips head screwdriver there, and some good jimping on it. It's really, really small, but uh, a lot of features packed into a small space. But again, this is one more like you're going to put on a keychain. This is one that I use a lot that's not really a proper, I wouldn't say pry bar, but uh, it does have a little bit of a pry bar piece on it here. It's the EDC Fans Utility Tool. Um, but again, way, way, way smaller. And then I got this one. It's uh, the Night Eyes. Boy, I couldn't tell you the name of this one if I had to. It's got a bit driver, a ratcheting bit driver in it. Decent little pry on the end clip. So you can clip it. I think this one's meant to be like a keychain. A couple little wrenches there, and then it does come with two bits in the center. But again, that's a lot smaller. You know, this is really, that's really comparing apples to oranges when we're looking at that. Because this is a full-size proper toolbar, you know, pry bar that you could use to um get into pretty much any area that was previously unaccessible maybe i don't really know how to say that but yeah this is a usable uh universal key maybe you could call it but guys uh tell me what you think about the uh, lynch northwest best case scenario um, I'm super happy to get this from them. Again, thank you so much, Thomas. Thank you so much, Casey, for sending this over to me, guys. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, these are available in a ton of different colors and options. Just go over there to Lynch Northwest and check them out. This one's the best case scenario. Guys, I'm your average gear reviewer, and I am out of here. Guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys watching. I mean, I love it so much when you comment. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about any of the Lynch pry bars, if you have any of them. Let me know what your experience has been with them. These are supposed to be guaranteed for life. Guys, this is a super inspiring story to me because it's like a guy who had an idea and he just believed in himself. He believed in what he was doing. 
and he just went for it. And, you know, down the road, he's considered one of the best in the, his craft. And guys, it just to me, it's kind of like the American dream. You know, I, that's kind of like what I think we all hope to be able to do someday. Um, you know, if you're an entrepreneur or whatever, small business. But anyway, guys, head over there to Lynch Northwest and help them out. If you want to help the channel out, please leave us a like down below. Comment on the video. Share it uh, to social media. I don't care if you share any of my, my videos. If you clip them, I, I don't care at all. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, there's a link down below in the description where you can buy me a cup of coffee. I would appreciate it because, as you know, I do love my coffee. Guys, if you're not subscribed, you're, you might be missing out on spellbinding content like me drinking coffee. So hey, make sure you're subscribed. I have a huge, well, we'll just get into that in another video. I bet I've got a big announcement coming out. Uh, we hit 500 subscribers here recently and we're gonna do a big giveaway, but I'm not quite ready to announce the details. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on. Lynch Northwest, best case scenario, average gear reviewer. still here awesome listen I was supposed to tell you something really important and I have to tell you this don't forget to like the video if you like the content subscribe down below hit the subscribe button please I'm stuck here until you hit the subscribe button please please I'm begging you please you gotta let me out of here just hit the subscribe button did you hit it Did you hit the, did you hit, it's right down here. Did you hit it? I don't know, I'm still here. Hello? Hello? Did you, did you hit the subscribe button? Look, listen, I'm literally stuck here until you hit the subscribe button. Oh, stop. Yes, very, listen, please hit the subscribe button. You did? You did hit it? Are you sure you hit it? Let's try it again. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what's wrong. Please, please help me. It's not...